Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today it's all about French toast again. You guys like the French toast roll up so much that I thought you might like this one as well. This is the idea behind it. You ready? Simple French toast batter. We're going to cut up our brioche bread into sticks. We're going to crunch our cinnamon toast crunch up really, really well, and then dredge it in that, and then cook it on the flat top. Our kids loved it the first time. If it's anything like the French toast roll-ups that you guys said that you guys like as well, this is going to be a home run. Watch how we do it. This has absolutely nothing to do with the recipe, but my daughter's asked for bacon to go with a French toast. So to get the Dad of the Year award, here we go. <laughs> For this uh, concoction of ingredients, we are gonna be doing a recipe. So just quickly, three eggs. Obviously, the more French toast you make, you would need to adjust this recipe accordingly, but this is gonna get us pretty close. I'm using half and half because typically that's what we have in the refrigerator. I'm gonna try a cup. Let's go a cup and a half. Milk would be just as fun. Or. Oh, 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 oh. We said it before, and you guys can look at the picture up there. Coffee creamer. I keep forgetting about that. Man, we used to do that all the time in the Navy. Um, it, it just adds a ton of flavor. If you ha already have it in the refrigerator, just go ahead and use it. We actually looked for the Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavored coffee creamer. We couldn't find it. So it just gives you an idea of what kind of options are out there. It just adds a lot of flavor. Uh, let's see, brown sugar, I'm gonna eyeball it, maybe about a half a cup. You can use white sugar. One cap full of vanilla. What do you, maybe a teaspoon? All right, you're just whisking to dissolve all that brown sugar. I'm not, okay. I'm not adding cinnamon to this recipe. I would add probably two good tablespoons of cinnamon um, because we're using cinnamon toast crunch. I didn't want it to overpower it. I don't know if it would or not, but I'm not adding it to this one. All right, for the cinnamon toast crunch, I'm just eyeballing it. I put about half the box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in there, okay? So I always try to teach you guys something, right? So here's one thing. When you're using a Ziploc bag, try to get as much air out as possible so you don't have a big explosion. It doesn't matter what you're really trying to crunch, um, panko breadcrumbs, heck, Cheez-Its, anything like that, cornflakes. This is just another example. My wife is having an absolute heart attack not knowing how much cereal we're using. If you crunch your cereal and you don't have enough, crunch more cereal. If you have too much, discard it. It's got egg in it. Hey, some people need recipes like me. This that... is a recipe. <laughs> so that's two cups after it's already been harassed, like me. <laughs> so to give you honest, that's probably a quarter. Probably that's honestly, Probably two. Two and a quarter cups crunched. Yes. Cinnamon toast crunch. Yep. I'm going to go back in there and just crunch a little bit more. This is no, no kidding. Probably a trick for the people that don't cook a lot or crunch up something. The, the, the heavy debris, the big debris will float to the top. The smaller stuff will kind of shift down. So if you just shake it like this, you'll notice how much bigger the pieces are on top and just go ahead and crunch them. See how it comes back up to the top. All right, that's pretty good. Now this is brioche bread. I've been wanting to make French toast for a very long time with brioche bread. Because it's, if you've ever had it on a burger, game changer. Game changer. That's mm. almost what we eat our burgers exclusively with is brioche. All right, so we're looking to make uh, sticks. So the best way to make a stick See what we got here. Mm. 
There, just like that. Thirds. That's what we're gonna go with. Deal? You guys on board? Yep. Just cut a little bit thicker. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right. All right, just dunk your French toast like normal. Remember, you don't want it too soggy so you're not soaking it for long. It'll continue to soak in the bread. And just take that right into your cinnamon toast crunch, just like you're doing breaded fish. Just like that. The most debatable thing that we do as a family is this aisle right here. What syrup to get? My wife always gets that crap right there, the sugar-free. It doesn't matter what <laughs> brand it is. We have enough sugar. That's what she says. We have enough sugar. But today, I put my foot down, and I said, the viewers, the commenters, the subscribers have supported me, and they <laughs> said, do not let her bring that back in the house. So she can take it up with you, not me. <laughs> today, we're going with the good stuff. Which one are we getting? All right, so this is what we chose. We chose the healthy syrup because it's organic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good compromise. <laughs> That's a good compromise. <laughs> Cinnamon toast coated French toast sticks are about to go down. Yep. So I think we used a 12 ounce box. I was about halfway through. I knew it right away that it wasn't gonna be enough. So I just added the rest of the box and just Pounding away. Like always, we clean as we go. I've already got the flat top cleaned off with all the bacon grease, all the bacon fond. Starting with a brand new flat top. Putting our butter down. Looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Smells good. All right, mm -hmm. here we go. And you're just gonna make them just like the roll-ups. Just gonna grill all four sides. All right, just gonna come in here really quick. And you're just looking for that brown color right there. Right, the flat top's on low. You don't wanna cook these too hot. You don't want that cinnamon toast to burn because there's so much sugar in the cinnamon toast. If you have trouble sanding your French toast up to get the other sides, find a good one that's got a strong base and use it just to lean your French toast up to, like this. If you could smell this right now, mm. the amount of cinnamon. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. I'm no dummy, I'm gonna let them cool down for a minute. All right guys, there you go. Super easy, fantastic little idea. Child one out here with knucklehead too. <laughs> she said I thought I was knucklehead one. She moves up and down the leaderboard all the time. Mm, try this. Tell me what you think. Mm. Good? It'll do? Good for Sunday morning? You're not mad at me from waking you up too early? I'm still mad about that. Still mad about that? All right. But the food will do, right? Fine. Good. <laughs> hey, guys, find us on the Griddle Group. Let us know what you guys are making. I've been so inspired by the countless, countless, countless tags and the ideas out there. It's been absolutely inspirational. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Experiment. There's a hundred different types of cereals. You guys do you, but when you do it, just make sure you tag us so we can see it, because I love it. Are you ready, kids? Yes. I've been ready to eat <laughs>